the brains in the body of a goddess, ooh -wee. Don't need nobody cause she's all that she needs She is queen royalty, she is love and beauty She makes her way look at the eyes that she be That's that black girl magic, that black girl magic Okay you guys, so we are, I should have been recorded but I forgot to record But um, I have like a couple things that I have to go do today So I decided why not bring you guys because I haven't did a video in a long time I do apologize it's just been a lot a lot of stuff that I've been doing like behind the scenes and when I did record they just didn't turn out right so I was like no um but I'm gonna take my two daughters I am about to take them to five dollar below um and have them just like grab some stuff since they've been good um and then um this What's today? It's, today is Saturday. So um, this week on Wednesday, I did an interview with the news. The news had reached out to me the week before, uh, which I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, so the Milwaukee News reached out to me and they wanted to do an interview about um, Flawless Boss Collection. So I'm like very, very excited. Um, I did the interview on Wednesday and she loved the story that she wanted to go ahead and hurry and get it pushed out this week. Um, so the story has already been on the news. Um, it's on it's online. I can leave the link below um, Okay, give me a moment Lenny. I can leave the link below so you guys can go ahead and read it. Um, it's just about flawless boss collection um, I'm sorry. I'm saying a lot of oh, I'm trying to stop but basically um, flawless boss collection uh, Was built off my mental health. So I have depression and PTSD and um, I'm pretty sure like most people have that and it's not talked about often with people dealing with depression and anxiety and stuff So my brand is just not just any beauty brand um, It's a brand to you know, just inspire and motivate and empower women and just let them know like regardless like you are beautiful So I have affirmations with my um, Products so like for instance my lip gloss um, is called brave and strength fearless survivor my story like my lashes and stuff so the lashes I have on right now is called girl get up and these are my absolute favorite and my gloss that I have on is fearless and then my lip liner is called breathe um, and I'm sorry you guys I'm actually driving while I'm trying to talk to you guys which I know I shouldn't be doing but I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me I don't want to do too much talking while I'm driving um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys with me while we go and do some run around and I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey you guys, so I could not record um, like when I was doing a run around because I had my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter with me it was not working. It was too much going on. I took them to go get some toys and it was doing way too much. I was trying to record in the car. My daughter, she kept being loud and kept saying she wanted to listen to some music. So I could not do that. But I am back. Um, I did go to Pink because they had a sale. Um, what was it? It was like 10 for 40. So I had to treat myself and go get me some Pink. Um, but um, I wanted to come on here and just kind of let you guys know the news that happened. Um, so I'm trying not to, I'm trying to stop saying, um, it's like really hard, but see, it's about to come out again. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Just forget it. It's just going to have to just flow. I'm just going to have to just come out with plenty of arms because that's like my saying goes to when I'm trying to figure out and think what I want to say. But, um, I told you guys like the news reached out to me and I did the interview with the news, um, Two weeks before that, I believe, um, a magazine from Atlanta reached out to me as well. And I'm like very excited. They reached out to me first and they wanted to basically do an interview and hear my story um, about Flawless Boss Collection, about how it was birthed, how I got started and everything. So I did the interview for that. That one, I'm waiting to hear back. I did the interview and everything. I'm just waiting to get the copy so i can go ahead and share that with you guys but down below i will leave um the article that i did for the news because she loved the story so much that she wanted to get it out right away um which like i said it's i'm from milwaukee so a lot of people that is watching this it's not going to be <laughs> in your area because this is just for my local city um 
So I will leave the link down below for you guys to be able to click that and then you guys can read my story. Um, so yes, that happened. Um, and a lot of people don't, well, let me not say a lot of people don't know, but I rebranded my business. So being a business owner, you kind of have to do what works for you. And you know how, like when you keep, you know, how can I explain it? Where I'm going to just say for me, um, I kept rebranding and rebranding, trying to figure out like, like, okay, I like it. But for some reason, when I switched to not switch, how can I say this? I'm sorry. Hold on. Um, so I just kept rebranding and because I deal with depression, um, and anxiety and the stuff that I deal with behind closed doors, um, I was afraid to tell my story and I think that's why I didn't have my business actually be that in the beginning, which I should have. Um, so that's something you want to make sure that, well, not even make sure because as a business owner, you're going to rebrand until you you feel like this is it this is exactly how i want it and i felt like that's what happened with me um rebranding to basically the great depression um so that's the new collection is called the great depression and i believe it launched january so i'm going to be keeping it like that it might be different collections but it's my brain is going to be specifically about mental health because it is not talked about a lot and it is a lot of people that is committing suicide and there's a lot of people that is dying, you know, and not telling their story or they're being in fear, um, which I can't understand because I was in fear. That's the reason why I didn't brand or I didn't rebrand it to that as of yet, which I did now, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I was like in fear of like what other people would think. But then I had to start thinking like it's too many people that's dealing with this. Maybe if I start telling my story and what I went through and what I'm going through now, it can help other people come out to be able to say, OK, I'm not alone, which we are not alone. I'm pretty sure probably nine out of ten, the people that's around you is probably dealing with depression. It's that serious. Um, so that's what I put it. My brand you know, it is about, it's not just beauty products, um, you know, with us wearing makeup and everything, it does make us feel good. Um, it just boosts our confidence up. Like my brand is literally like to motivate women. So all my names that I have, like girl get up, like these are my girl get up lashes. That's to motivate you. And it's not only just to motivate you. I'm actually trying to motivate myself too, because when I'm putting stuff out, and what I put in my captions and stuff, I'm being very transparent. I'm letting you guys know it has been days where I literally cannot get up, but I end up getting up and I push myself, you know, to be able to do what it is that I need to do. So I share that with you guys. Um, like fearless, brave, you know, my collection is based off that is based off, you know, motivation, inspiration. And I'm on my laptop trying to do some work. I am having, um, some skincare come out so you guys know i had body butter out before if you guys have been watching my youtube you guys are follow me on instagram on my business page which is flawless boss collection make sure you go and go follow me because your girl i post like every day i come through okay but um i was doing body butters before but then i stopped it um, I don't know why I stopped, but I stopped, but I want to bring it back. And this time I kind of want to do a couple things different. I'm actually bringing something else out. But, um, basically what I've been working on is creating my labels. So I hope you guys can see, but I basically been creating my labels, trying to figure out which labels it is that I want to do. Um, just kind of playing around with the stuff to see. Cause I'm like very picky when it comes to bringing stuff out and like making sure that it's up to par, making sure that it looks nice. Um, so I created like a couple labels that I'm trying to play around with to see like, okay, I want to do this one, I want to do that one. All my containers and stuff have came. I will show you guys that as well. But I'm bringing body butter out, and then I'm also bringing something else out, which I'm not gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna just show you, and y'all be able to put the pieces together. But make sure you guys follow me because I do kind of post like sneak peeks and stuff um of what's coming out with, with my brand 
So yeah, that's what I'm about to be doing right now. I'm just going to go ahead and just play around um, and kind of finish decorating uh, my labels, customizing my labels. And I'll have you guys just go. So I just wanted to show you guys, um, I'm trying to think if I want to do two different body butters, um, and then two of my sugar scrubs, which, which I'm going to be coming out with the foam and sugar scrub. Um, I'm trying to figure out, first of all, which labels, if I should do these labels or if I should do the black labels and I'm going to show y'all my container so y'all can kind of give me y'all input on which label i'll probably do both i'll probably do this label for the body butter and then this one for the sugar scrub but i'm thinking about either coming out with one of each or two but it'd be like sets and then individuals so it'd be the black girl magic and then the black girl magic uh farming sugar scrub and then i'm gonna switch this name it's not gonna be the sweet pea i have to figure out what name it would be so that's kind of what i've been doing is playing around with the labels and with the sugar scrub um and i just put like the body but i just put any label on there just to kind of get an idea of how it exactly will look before i place the order because i'm like very picky so that's what i've been doing i just been playing around with that trying to get the content together um and i'm like real big on making sure that my colors and everything matches i'm very big on that making sure everything just look up to part
this is my Instagram page. Like I said, make sure you guys go and follow me. And I just like to keep my page very aesthetic, meaning it's going with my colors. Everything is aligned together. Nothing is it's not looking sloppy like I'm just throwing stuff on there. Um, and as you can see, it says beauty meets mental health, restoring the image and self-esteem of women. Beauty products with a dose of inspiration. So this is my Instagram page. And I'm like very shocked because let me show y'all like my page been like booming like these swatches that i got has 653 others which that like this post and um you know a lot of people say like people want to actually see how the colors and the products and stuff look um which is very true so i'm gonna kind of give you guys some tea a little bit here it's really easy um if you basically um, like if you want swatches or stuff done, if you go in your search box and you do swatches, it's a lot of people that do it. Let me, um, okay. So if you type in swatches and then let's go to their accounts and you see all these people that have swatches. If you click their stuff, like the person I went to for my lashes, this is who I went to swatches by KT. Swatches by KT. This is who I went to. So if you guys need like swatches done with your lashes and stuff, you can definitely go to her. Um, I recommend her because I went to her myself. And this is me. Um, these are my swatches that she did for me. I love her the way that she did her swatches. Um, but if you go right here, you see a lot of people do swatches. And you just reach out to them. If you like their pictures, if you like the way they did their stuff, go ahead and reach out to them. And... Um, send them your products and post that because people want to see like she I had another person that did my lip swatches um which let me see if I posted her I'm sorry hold on no she's on one of these hold on y'all and my daughter is at my door I posted on one of these I'm sorry y'all let me find it Okay, right here. She did the swatches for my lips, which as you can see, she recently did those for me. And people like to see how it looks on people, you know, skin complexions. I do want to find like a, um, a dark skin person that do swatches so I can kind of show people how it looks on different skin tones. But that's definitely something that if you have a beauty cosmetic, you definitely want to make sure that you do. Um, and not just post like the product pictures because that's not really doing anything and that's something that I learned as well People want to see how it looks um, On different <laughs> y'all hear my daughter I locked the door on her so I can come up in here and record my video But people want to see how it looks on the lips like that They want to see exactly how it looks on the color. It brings more attention um, And it makes them kind of buy it more like okay, this will kind of look right on me so I just gave you guys two of the people that I use. That's free information. Go ahead and use that information um, to be able to get your swatches and stuff done of your lashes. If you do lashes or if you're if you do lip gloss, go ahead and contact them. And I hope that information was able to help you guys and out. And another software that I've been using is Panolio. Hope I'm saying it right. But basically, you can add pictures and stuff. And these are what I have that's already up. But um, like you can move them around. And you can kind of see how your news feed will look on your actual Instagram. And that's something that I actually like. Um, I told you guys I was using Canva before and I was scheduling the post. But I actually switched to Pinolio and I am on the free version right now. So I'm not paying for it. I am thinking about going ahead and switching to the free version. Uh, I mean, to the paid version because I actually like this. This is way, way better. Um, not saying that Canva isn't you know it meets my standards but Pinolio, i like that you can actually move stuff over and you say okay i like the way that this look i'm gonna go ahead and post this so your news feed can look just like this that is definitely something that i recommend you guys to try and like i said this one i'm on is free so you only get a certain amount a month to be able to post so like right here it told me it told me i use 30 out of 30 so uploads used is going to reset April 1st, um, which I am going to be upgrading to 
a different one to where I'm actually going to pay because I am using a free one. So you want to get 30 out of 30 every month. So definitely want to make sure that you guys use that. I definitely, definitely recommend this. And a lot of people been seeing it for a while now. I just never took the time to actually see how I would like it. I definitely recommend this. Definitely. If you're a business owner, get this. Get Pinolio, get Canva, and they both have free versions for you to be able to use. Canva, you just only can do um, certain stuff on here and, you know, then you will have to kind of pay for it. But they're both $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. And I pay for Canva right now, but I am going to be paying for a Pinolio as well um, because that's just something that I feel like will actually help my business and kind of give me a preview of how stuff will look before I post it on my page. Because I sometimes have a problem where I will post something and then I'll be like, no, I don't like the way that look. And I will delete it, <laughs> try to figure out like, you know, how it looks on my page. So I was, I hope that was able to help you guys out. All right, you guys, so we are back and it is the next day. And I told you guys I wanted to show you my containers. So I'm gonna kinda show you guys. So I have these containers right here, which are going to be for the scrubs. And I've been playing around with like the labels and stuff, trying to figure out like the size. And basically what I did was just got a sheet of paper, like a pretty white printed paper, and then I did the size with my ruler, or with my tape measure, and then kind of did it like that to see how I like it. Hopefully you guys can see that the light isn't too bright. And then these are going to be for the body butter. Then I have my label right here that I did. Let me turn down the light some. Okay. Then I have this, and I did the size. Probably can't see it because the light's too bright. But this is the container. It's clear with the black top. And these sugar, um, the, the containers I'm going to be for the, the uh, foaming sugar syrup, They're, they have the black tops as well. So it'll look like this and like this and it'll come together like that and my daughter's over here making a mess why would you do that no put that in put that back inside and then um this is my soap base the foaming bath butter base that i got my light is too bright, but let me try to turn it down some more. This is the foaming scrub. I mean, the, the foaming bath butter. Oh, my God. The foaming bath body, um, bath butter base. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. But I got two of them, and they're two pounds each. Can you put this back in there? Can you put all these back inside of here? No, 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 no. Put them back inside of here. I need these. This is why I don't let her come up in here. Oh, yeah. I just seen this book. You are a badass. I have to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. And then this self love workbook for women. I'm going to try this out and see. I think I might like this. Just based off what I've seen. I think I might like this. We're going to give it a try. We're going to. We're going to see how I like it. And then I'm coming to get a desktop. I think it's this one that I need. So let me go and find some help. Alright, so this is everything I got. I got to go to Target and get some press and seal. And then Dollar Tree to grab mostly this stuff that's in here. Measurements. I got these two big old cups. I try to find some small ones, but like to mix the color in. And then I got this bin to be able to put all the body butter and sugar stuff in that I need. Then I told you guys I got this book, which is called Self Love Workbook for Women. And then this book I want to read. Uh-uh, put them all back. 
and then it's HDMI to plug up from my MacBook um, to plug it up to this monitor that I got. So I'm gonna get this monitor a try. I did want to get a um, what y'all under? I did want to get a MacBook. I mean a, a iMac, but because I already got the laptop. I just went ahead and just got the monitor because I need something that was bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and see how this turns out for me. came in my office to clean everything up because it was just too much stuff everywhere and I have way too much stuff but I set the monitor up and then my laptop right there it looked way better and cleaner from this side. For you to log into Credit Karma, your, uh, you know, your credit card and it will give you the option to like put your credit and you can see All right, y'all, so throughout the day, mostly all the time, I always listen to Eric Thomas, um, his Powerful Motivation videos. I always listen to that, and then I kind of do my content. I recently just did my body butters and my sugar scrub, so I kind of was planning my content and doing the videos. So I'm kind of playing around with the content with those to try to get those stuff done. And then I want to take a break to finish reading my book, which is called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. This is a really good book. I love this book. So this is kind of what I am doing right now. So, yeah, I'm going to keep reading this book and then kind of keep stopping and kind of, you know, doing my content and stuff.